Why do the gods envy us? First, a little context. Who are these gods? And who's the us to which the gods are referring? Homer wrote the Iliad about 2,800 years ago. And he referred to the gods, plural, that envy us mortal humans because we're mortal. The gods, you see, live forever. There is no need for the gods to pursue urgency in their lives. There is no need for the gods to appreciate any particular thing. From a little yellow flower that is emerging from volcanic activity, from a volcanic zone, to the lodgepole pine, to snakes and berries and animals of all kinds, there's no reason for the gods to bother themselves with appreciating those other things. After all, if you're going to live forever, and a little diversion here, forever is a long time, especially toward the end. If you're gonna live forever, then why would you stop to appreciate anything? Why would you stop to smell the roses? There's no need. They'll always be there for you, or something better even than the roses you're not stopping to smell. The gods envy us mortal humans because we have a finite life. Because, as a result, we can choose to live with urgency. We can stop to smell those roses. We can stop to notice the broom in the lodgepole pine trees. Pinus contorta. We can stop to appreciate all the little things all the big things, the boiling springs here in Yellowstone National Park, the fact that there is a Yellowstone National Park established in 1872. We have so much to appreciate in the short time that we are given because we're mortal and also because of the short time we have remaining with habitat for our species on this most wondrous of planets. At the edge of extinction, only love remains. And that includes love for all that we have in our lives. Love and gratitude still remain, at least for some of us.